it's Jessica and welcome back to Amnesia Memories and we're gonna continue with Ukyo's route and he's confusing me because he says one thing but I remember you know he's kind of like a psychopath at the same time so my speculation is he only turns into a psychopath when we're dating someone else but there was also a theory that maybe he's like a god or like a very high ranking spirit according to Orion. But there's a little bit, a little bit of contradictions between what he says and what Orion says because apparently spirits or gods are not allowed to tell the future. Like they're not able to, but for some reason Ukyo can do that and I don't, I don't get how he can do that. How are you feeling? You'll be switching out with Toma in five. Good, Toma can go fuck himself. What? Wait, okay, she's here, don't worry. Hmm? What's going on? It's coming from over there. What's happening? Huh? Oh my. Jessica, you're safe! Who am I talking to? Oh! <laughs> oh, hi, it's Rika! <laughs> you bad girl, you! I sent you a message and you didn't respond? I was so worried you might have gotten in a real accident. Is she like our best friend here? Cause she's a bitch in all of them, so I'm a little bit surprised. Why is she being nice? Uh, who is this person? Um, Rika? Let's stop right there. This is a restaurant, you know. My, excuse me. After finding out she was alright, I couldn't help myself. Oh. <laughs> oh. The bullet train accident was near your house the other day. I was so worried. I got scared, so I tried to get in contact with you, and you didn't even respond. So I thought maybe you really were involved with the accident, and my fears just got away from me. I must calm down. Ah, that's her fake laugh. <laughs> um, sorry, but is she your friend? Well, yeah, sort of. She's not the type to respond right away, so I think it's pretty pointless to worry about something like that. And seriously, cut it out, or else. He's here! Excuse me, madam. You seem to be excited. Would it be alright if you followed me to the back? He's going for the kill! My apologies! I was so excited, I must have raised my voice unknowingly. I don't want to get in the way of everyone's work here, so I'll excuse myself for now. I will see you again! Um, you. Is it Sawa and Mr. Manager? I have caused you two great trouble. I sincerely apologize. What the hell? This is so weird! She's so nice! Why? <laughs> I couldn't capture her. Well, she didn't cause too much trouble. I suppose I can let her go. This is not a single customer who has caused a ruckus, got taken back, and came back out to tell the tale. You should report that. She seriously was cutting it close. Glad she was safe. You better be careful or you might be the next target. Thanks for your warning. I'll be careful. I wonder what kind of relationship we had with that person. Sawa, do you know anything about her? She seems like Rika and Sawa knew one of another, but... Uh, I can't be like, hey, do you do you know what kind of person Rika is? I it's not like I'm not friends with her or anything. Fuck it, I'm gonna ask her. Do you know? Because it sounds like what kind of person is Rika? Sounds too suspicious since we were like it, it's implied that we know each other. So. Hmm? Didn't I tell you? On the day you had off, she came to visit Iki. And then she was saying stuff like, Oh my, is that girl not working today? I asked Iki, but supposedly she pretty, she's pretty friendly with you, right? He said often, he often sees you two hanging out. So we're friends with her? I'm so confused. You go out with that? Seriously? But seriously, that is a truly, uh, unique person. How can you even converse with her? I guess when you're in the president of the fan club, you don't need to be that in president, or maybe you can't handle it. Fan club? What's that? Fan club for whom? For Iki, of course. Oh, a customer is here. A hey, I want to know more! Oh god, she's back. <laughs> Ukyo, we came by again! Welcome back- Welcome home, Master! Will this sit be fine for you? I just passed by Rika earlier. So this time she- uh, This time you and her- She are friends, huh? So I guess you two aren't enemies at all times. Uh, um? You should be as close as you can with Rika. Try your best not to get on her bad side. I know, because if we if we don't like Rika, she's gonna push us off a cliff and try to kill us, right? 
Uh, um, master? Master, um, is this seat fine for you? He's saying gibberish again. But I guess he didn't say anything too weird this time. He just suggested that you be friends with that crazy girl. But still, what kind of a friend is Rika? And what fan club is she a part of? The crazy fangirl stalkers! <laughs> ah, so these are pictures of the city. Yes, I took them a few days ago. I made my rounds around the neighborhood. Ah, this is interesting. Uh, s uh, sparrow sleeping. Those are from the park. And it was my first time seeing a sparrow sleeping too. It might have been its guard- It might have had its guard down since it figured there weren't many enemies around. Oh, this is- Oh, that's- I see. So that's what you've been visiting the cafe for the past few- Is he taking pictures of us? <laughs> Man, I, I had no intentions of sharing that. It's a nice picture. Have you gotten approval from the subject? Please don't mention anything. That's, um... That's, uh, not cool. You should- <laughs> I know he's, like, stalking us, but please don't take pictures of people without their permission. That's, like, weird. So you took the photo from afar. I had no bad intentions, I promise you. It was just a beautiful moment. I understand. You are a professional photographer. I suppose you can leave it at that. <laughs> Thank you. Are you after her? I think your leverage isn't too low. It's not like that. I'm in no position where I could do such a thing. I wonder what those two are talking about. They're looking at the picture and talking, uh, and talking, but I can't see the picture, so I don't know what it's about. There's no point in standing around here, so do you want to head into the kitchen? Oh, come to think of it, didn't Rika just mention that she sent you a message to your phone? We haven't been checking your phone much lately, let's check it out. Okay. Uh, hey, I heard that there was a major accident near your ho house. I haven't heard from you in several days. You weren't involved in it, were you? Please respond. Whether you were or not, I'm worried. <laughs> what if we were dead? How can we respond, dude? <laughs> well, if you were involved, obviously you wouldn't be able to respond. And wow, I can hear her voice just reading her message. Is that common for people in this world? Well, forget her weird phrasing. She seems to, like she generally worried about you. I guess she really is your friend, for now. Oh, maybe you're part of this fan club that Rika is the president of? What if you and Rika are friends through the fan club? Hmm, it's starting to sound more convincing. The chestnut parfait is ready. Please carry it to table six. Whoa! Uh, when did the manager come into the kitchen? Wait, was he making the parfait right next to you? I totally didn't notice. Oh, and this tea here will go to the customer at table eight. Please take care of it now. Ugh, that scared me. She's very eccentric with different scents than Yukio. Parfait is good, and the tea goes to table eight. Oh, it's Yukio's table. Yukio must be li must like that table. He's always sitting there. Oh, thank you. Could you put it in there? Darn, he already put away the photo he was looking at with the manager. That sucks. Yeah, right. Like he's gonna show. Hey, I've been stalking you. Here's the picture I took. <laughs> I highly suggest you don't go towards the station today. Huh? I can't tell you in the details, but a random assailant is near the station. You shouldn't go that way. Uh, what, what? What does he mean? Why? We're gonna get murdered? Hey, a customer! May I have that timing? Don't worry about me. Go see if you're a customer. What I just told you is everything I wanted to tell you. You must refrain from going to the train station today, at least. Got it? Huh? What? Okay, cool. So we're gonna get run over by a train then? You had a really nice day at work today. Good job. The night shift is finally over. Boy, we are late. I'm so tired. So I'm gonna be direct. What did you think about Ukiya's statement about the random assailant? Remember, he was like, don't go near the station today. That part. We didn't have plans to go near there anyway, but... I, I still think I can trust him for now because he hasn't shown any, like, murder murderous tendencies yet. So... I see. Honestly, I don't know what to think. I can't even imagine what Ukyo knows. I mean, a random attacker coming out of nowhere? That's dumb. But it seems like Ukyo is genuinely worried about you, so I guess there's no need to go to the station. Yeah, he is worried about you. Rather, he's worried a lot. 
Hey, I just noticed, Ukiyo is so worried about you, or at least he says he is, but he doesn't walk you home. I mean, even today, look how dark it is, and you walked home all by yourself. All, and if he showed up at the cafe in the middle of the day, it's not like he tied, uh, he's tied with anything. Seriously, he's so confused. Like, what if he's like a werewolf? At night, he becomes a murderer. <laughs> and then when the moon is out, he, he turns into this murderous person he can't stop. Maybe because we're in his root that uh, he can sort of control his murder side. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Like, we're technically supposed to be in his root. We're supposed to be the love interest with him. So he's kind of just like, oh, okay. She's not with any other dude. But I just feel like... Just feel like he, it's something else too along those lines. Like, there's something else adding to the fact that he can't turn into that. Or he can't be near us. He's a werewolf. It's either that, or if he starts to fall in love with us, he becomes like psycho and tries to kill us or something. I don't know. Oh, hey! Your cell is ringing! It sounds like it's a message. Hmm. Oh, it's from Toma. Ugh. Did you see the news? There was an incident at the station. Are you home? I hope nothing is wrong. News? Hey, turn on the TV now! Where a 28 year old male was seen brandishing a survivor knife, injuring a passerby? Wait, is he the one killing the people? What's going on? I think he does as a personality disorder, but I think it's also something else. It's like mixed in with something. The incident occurred around 7.15 p.m. The male assailant cut a woman walking through the station. While the knife tore through her clothing, she suffered no injuries. The man was arrested on the spot. Certainly authorities are investigating possible motives. And in other news... Wow. Oh, it's a random guy. Okay, it's not Ukiyo. I thought it was him. A random guy really did show. But look, no casualties, that's great! Hey listen, if you have gone out, it could have been a cut- Cut time- <laughs> No! Alright, this is not time for making puns! No! No! <laughs> yeah, not funny at all, sorry! What now? A phone call? And the caller is- Whoa, random number, is someone calling from a payphone? Uh, uh, forget it, just answer it! Oh, hey, you safe? It's me, Ukyo. Ukyo? My cell ran out of battery, so I'm calling you from a payphone. Did I surprise you? Yeah, a little bit, dude. Hey, wait, so Ukyo knows your phone number? When did he find out? Or did he know it all a long time ago? Or is he stalking us? <laughs> um, you seem rather quiet. You are safe, right? You didn't go to the station, did you? I'm safe. I see. I'm glad. I didn't know what I would do uh, if you have done. Uh, what? Wait, if what you have done if you didn't trust me. That's all I wanted to say. Later. Hey, wait! Before you hang up, ask him why. Why did you tell? How did you know? How? You mean about the random attacker? Well, on August 7th, that damn attacker stabbed me at the station before. Today is- I know you guys can see the date because it's behind my webcam, but it says the date is August 7th. That's today. Huh. huh? What? Uh, I like how the ominous music comes out. Okay, great. Were you alright? Yeah. No. I died. So, I've been thinking about it since last night. The things that have been happening, do you think Ukiyo could have set it all up? Oh, come on, what's up with that look? No, you think I'm wrong? Uh, what would, what would his, what, what, why would he do that though? Aside from trying to kill us. <laughs> Well, the purpose is, uh, see, to, to do whatever he wants with you? All the accidents and incidents that have happened, as long as there's someone else cooperating, it could totally work. Oh, but that random attack yesterday would have been impossible. They already caught the culprit. But wait, what if Ukyo brainwashed the culprit to do it? Yeah, it's totally doable. Hey, wait, if he could do that much, he wouldn't do it in this roundabout way. He should brainwash you directly. Hmm, that sort of throws the wrench in that. But forget it! He's a cr he's creepy! He scares me! I understand if he's telling things of their benefit to you, but still. He's so mysterious and suspicious, I'm just confused. He seems like he doesn't mean any harm, but because he doesn't mean any harm, it makes it confusing and more scary in a way. 
<sighs> Sorry, I want to back you up, but this is no good for me to panic like this. Uh, I need to cool down a little. You don't have to work today, so we should just relax and- Oh! I don't think he replied to Toma's message from yesterday. It's not good to worry him like Rika. Let's respond- No! Fuck Toma! Don't respond to him! <laughs> if me, I'd fuck him. I just wouldn't do it. But man, so many different people are worried about you. You don't seem to be so clumsy to me, though. Whoa! That surprised me! Did you just get a message? Who's it from? Oh, no name. Oh, God. Hello. No work today, right? Are you free? If you're up to it, let's meet up at the park uh, place marked on the map in half an hour. Ukyo. Ukyo? He knows his address too? That he knows you're off today be that could mean that he dropped by the cafe, but he wants you to come to the location on the map. Hmm, what do you think? I'm still scared, but I do feel like you should go see Ukyo and at least talk to him. Oh, another message? Sorry, ignore my last message. Don't leave your house, okay? What? What is he talking about? He tells you to come out and then the next moment he tells you not to leave the house? He's so random. So what are you gonna do? Stay home? Or are you just gonna go head to the location on the map anyways? So wait, was the first message from the psycho killer Ukyo, and then now he changed, and then now he's just like, don't come follow me, don't do it. I did say I would trust him more, because I want to know what happened. Fuck, okay, I'm gonna stay home, guys, I'm gonna stay home. Just, just do it. Well, I guess you have, no, have a point. He told you not to come, so I guess we shouldn't, huh? Let's go drop this topic. Let's go back to our original plan and relax. Okay, cool, I, I prefer not a knife in my back, thank you. Fifteen minutes later. Hey, in 20 minutes, they're going to take a bunch of B-list celebrities and make them eat noodles. Wanna watch? I love watching these pointless TV shows. Oh, someone's here. I wonder who it is. Maybe it's the mailman? Yeah, he, sure. Sure, it's the mailman. Oh, Ukyo. Oh, there you are. I'm so glad. Hey, he just suddenly fell to the floor. What's, what's going on? Oh, sorry. I came running straight here from home. I'm out of energy. Dude, get a bike next time. I don't know what I would have done if you went to that place. I panicked. I'm so glad you stayed here. I'm so relieved. What is he talking about? He was the one who told us to come out. Oh, come to think of it, I should have taken a taxi. But that was close by. Well, I'm going to head out. Bye! <laughs> what the hell? What is he doing? Oh, hey, hey, you wait now! You can't just go home after all that, it makes no sense! This one kind of freaks me out, because if that was his other personality telling us to go outside, what would happen if I tell him, hey, come on in! Murderer, possible murderer? I'm gonna see what happens, I'm kind of curious. Hey, wanna come in for tea? If you're alone with me, in an empty place, it wouldn't be good. Uh... I have no confidence in the idea that I won't do all sorts of odd things to you. So, he does turn into a creeper when he's alone with us. So that said, I'm going home. Be sure to stay inside. Goodbye! And there he goes. So Ukyo came running over to make sure you didn't leave home. That was nice of him, but why was he so worried about it in the first place? I think we're gonna have to get closer to Ukyo and talk to him. Ugh. We got no memories back yet. It's true, we haven't had a memory yet. Good morning! Well, you're on the late shift, so technically it's already afternoon. Ah, oh, cat! <laughs> hmm. Oh, it's, ju it's you, Jessica. You're early today. I came to prep the kitchen. You know, you're still would have made in time if you came a little earlier. Well, it's Spanish. She, came, she, came, she comes earlier than later, right? <laughs> I don't know about that. Arriving too early may be a waste of time. It's best to act efficiently. Rational men who always have to be right don't get the ladies. <laughs> That's none of your business. And besides, seeing what Ikkyo goes through makes me fed up with women entirely. He's gay! No, okay. Uh, speaking of Ikki, he stopped by this morning. He said he needed to speak with Jessica. I told him that she had the late shift and he won't be home. 
What? Icky dropped by? I wanted to see him. Oh, too bad. You're so lucky. He's always talking to you. <laughs> I bet you're just... I bet you he's just curious. If you want Ikki to have a romantic feelings towards you, you sure as hell better work hard to gain attention, Mine. That's none of your business! <laughs> Kent just take me on the table! <laughs> Still can't get over how Ken looks good. He does look good in that uniform. Out of all the all the characters, he looks good. He looks good. Oh, excuse me, Mine, Jessica. Hi. Yes. Do you mind putting up this magazine away on the bookshelf? Be sure to place it in the location where the customers can reach them. This is uh, a photography magazine. Yes, this magazine is where Ukyo submits his photos. I decided to subscribe to it. Ah, uh, Waka Senpai's a fan. <laughs> Oh, so you're a real fanboy, aren't you? Oh, did that offend you? No. For those who don't know the situation, I wouldn't blame you for thinking that way. What? You see, this magazine, my grandfather told me about it. He fell ill many years ago and didn't have much longer to live. Oh, um, why did it get dark all of a sudden? <laughs> My grandfather loved photography, photographs. He told me how much he would enjoy them and look forward to every month's publication. I never really was interested in it, but I was so I brushed, it, brushed it off. But the other day, my grandfather... Wait, what? So that's why I wanted to pay more sex to him and decided to read this magazine in his place. Oh my gosh, manager! I'm so sorry for calling you a fanboy! <laughs> Well, to be honest, I was just lying. What? Oh my god! He was, he was making a joke! <laughs> hey, come on! I was fell for it too! On, on a side note, I told the same story to Ukyo who dropped by this morning and he believed me too. He was tearing up. <laughs> he made a joke! Oh my god! Hey Melvin, how are you? Huh? Ukyo dropped by? But the fact that he just went home must mean nothing really happened today. Hey manager, I thought I told you to trick customers and make them cry! <laughs> Waka Senpai's the best, I love him so much. Home sweet home! Nothing happened today. Like life endangerment or cryptic warnings. It's so nice to have a day go by peacefully. Yep, it would be so nice if every day went by like this, just peacefully. But that's not good! I totally forgot to work on your amnesia! Oh no! I'm sorry! The whole day has come and gone with nothing else but boring work to show for it! I'm starting to lose sight of my purpose. And I'm too busy being caught up with Ukyo, who Ukyo is and what his true intentions are. This isn't good. I'm supposed to support you! Starting tomorrow, I promise to do my best. I'm serious. I'm really sorry, okay? No, <laughs> it's okay, Orion. You're forgiven. Hot soup and cheese fondue order up. Go to table two. What's the status on the mimosa sal- m mimosa? Mimosa salad and pickled veggie combo. That'll be out in 30 seconds. I'm planning it now. I print the bill for the two people at the table at table one, so I'll bust the table and see the three waiting up front. Three people? I thought it was a young couple next. I tried seating them, but the girlfriend was like... I didn't know you we were going to a maid cafe! The maids are too cute! I don't like it! I'm gonna get really pissed off! Oh dear. <laughs> and then she was just stormed out. Oh, right. That, I can see that happening. I should have handled that party. But if you did that, I think the boyfriend would have got mad. No point in stressing over it. Well, I'm off. Then we should go... You're really getting the hang of this. When you first started, it was... I wasn't sure you'd survive. I guess you can do it in despite your amnesia. That's great. But there's no good in getting used to the fact that you don't have your memory, huh? Man, things have really been throwing me off lately. Maybe it's all that Ukyo's fault. Oh, come to think of it. Ukyo isn't here today, is he? I was wondering what, what he's doing. Excuse me, can you give me my order, please? Uh, hey, a customer is calling. Gotta go! Interesting. He, does he... I feel like he only shows up at the cafe when he has to warn us with something. You know? Great job today! <clears throat> Let's see if we run into him while walking home. Oh, I didn't know where there was a park here. I guess it's more of a garden than a park. There are a lot of trees. It's nice. It's so relaxing. In a world where I come from, there's no greenery anywhere. So when I'm in a place like this, it feels really like a blessing. 
I like this part. What do you think? It would be great if you liked it too. I took the scenic route hoping that it would stimulate you, but seems like this place wasn't that memorable. Maybe a person would be better to trigger the, the location? What? An ear! The mystery is solved! <laughs> Wait, what? You just tricked me all of a sudden! Did something happen? Oh! He's dead! Okay, um... <laughs> Ukiyo, what are you doing sleeping here? Don't tell me you fainted. You don't look too well. Well, I guess that's true all the time. Huh? Uh, hey! What you doing? Oh. Where am I? Uh, that's right. Damn it. I'm still alive. Huh? Yet again, I... What? What do you mean? I couldn't escape this world. Hey, don't you think it's odd? It's scary. Ah! I got stuck in the shrubbery! <laughs> you bastard. What the fuck is going on? Whoa! It's all your fault. Thanks to you, I... If you didn't exist, then I... <laughs> this isn't good! Jessica, run for it! How can I run for it when he has freaking grabbing me like this? Dude, what the hell is happening? His fucking hate is coming off. Quick, someone call the fucking ambulance! <laughs> Dude, if I say let me go, will he do it? It's not like Toma. I know Toma was like, psychopath too, but at least like when we called for help, he helped. I don't know about this guy. Uh, I'll try it. Let's go, hurry! Uh-huh. You're... What are you doing here? Huh? Oh my god! What was I just doing to you? Sorry, I'm so sorry. I really am. I must have been really out of it just now. I scared you, didn't I? Are you hurt? Hey, let's call the police! How about that? I don't want to be near you, dude! Freaking me out again! No! <laughs> You know what the fucked up thing is? Being this is a, a Otoma game, you have to be like, Yes, I'm alright, even though you nearly choked me to death. It's okay. I forgive you, like what we did with Toma. Oh my god. I don't want to say yes, though, because it's, like, weird. I'm gonna say no, fuck it. Uh, okay, good. You know, I'm telling you, if you just approach me unguarded like that while I'm asleep, that's no good. Why? Because you're gonna kill me? God knows what would have happened to you. Uh, what would happen to me? So I can approach you when you're awake? Can I talk to you when you're awake? My being awake would be worse. Please try to do your best to at least two meters of distance between us. What is he talking about? Well, this is my- uh, this time it's my fault for sleeping in such a place. It's not your fault. But from now on, if you ever find me sleeping in a park, or in some type of structure, or in a street, just leave me be. A parking structure or the street? Does he always sleep in these places? What is this homeless- what is he, homeless or something? <laughs> I like how this is the only option. Are you homeless? By the way, I'm just gonna ask you a very personal question. Hey, don't ask him so I'm <laughs> Even Orion agrees! I understand that how you might have come to that conclusion, but I do have a home. As you can tell, I'm pretty horrible when I wake up. Almost inhumane, so I try my best not to sleep at home. That's one way to put it. You see, I live by myself, so if I sleep at home, there would be no one to stop me when I wake up. But if it's outside the afternoon, people would be uh, be around, so it would be harder for me to be violent, right? Uh, what the heck is he talking about? Man, he always acts like this. And besides, no matter what his circumstances might be, full out, uh, full out sleeping outside is pretty tough. You're thinking I'm odd, aren't you? I'm thinking you're way beyond that, dude! <laughs> Oh, I don't blame you. I do say some bad omen type things and leave people hanging. It really sounds cryptic, doesn't it? 
So he's self-aware at least. I'm not trying to scare you or anything, but I guess I still I still am making you feel a little scared. Sorry. So my warnings. Uh, well, I see them in my dreams. Like there is an attacker at the station, and that you fall you fell in a well. All I do is tell you. It's simply a premonition type of thing. There's no other reason. If I say that, will you believe me? No. <laughs> If I told you the truth, you wouldn't believe me anyway. So can you just accept that you're... Dude! Just say it, okay? After everything I've seen in this game, I don't think anything would surprise me at this point. Or you can consider them as ramblings of an old man. As long as you listen to my warnings. Anyway, there aren't many people here today. I should move somewhere else when more people are around. Oh, I know. Why don't we go to the place you said you liked before? I think we can still make it in time. Hey, wait! Sorry! Pretend that didn't happen! Why am I inviting you somewhere? Ugh, this isn't good. I'm getting confused again. Let me walk you back. You should be heading home. Yeah, but you just- Ah, uh, you're confusing me. You just said you didn't want to be near me. Now you're like, hey, let me walk you home, dear. As I have a knife in my pants. I apologize for today. You must have been really scared. From now on, when I sleep outside, I'll be sure to sleep as far away uh, from your place as possible. Uh, that's not the point. I personally feel like you should be sleeping outside, period. If you keep that up, it won't be good for your body, and if it's way past the level of oddball, who loves napping out outdoors? And, um, I know I shouldn't be saying this, but I'm glad I ran into you today so unexpectedly. I keep telling myself to avoid you as much as possible, but it's no use. Hey, a memory, finally! I'm glad I ran into you today. He said to me before. Really? Are you that girl from back then? Are you real? No, I didn't think I would reunite with you like this. You know, after that day, I really regretted it. I wish I could have at least gotten your contact information. I wanted to talk to you more, so I'm really glad I ran into you today. I'm glad. I was able to meet you again. Okay, cool. Alright, bye Cake Spice! Thank you for joining the stream! His personalities are him and other roots. I figured it out! Yeah, that's probably it, that's probably it, and they're just merging into one. What? Really? You're okay with me? Oh, no, 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 no! I'm not doubting you, but I didn't think you would give me such a quick response. Uh, I'm, I'm, I suck. I really can't uh, find the right words. My mind is drawing a blank. What should I say in these situations? How can I properly convey you to how I'm feeling? Right now, I'm really... I'm really happy! And then he pulls out a knife out of his sleeve. <laughs> I guess we'll just end it here for today. I'll drop by the cafe tomorrow. I'll see you around. Hmm? What? N no, I didn't tell you not to come near me. Jessica? Ah, uh, did you used to have feelings for me? How how do you feel about me? Hey, did you used to like me? <laughs> what? Hey, that's not good. That question is just way too suspicious sounding. That beats me. I don't know how you felt, nor is it something I should answer for you. But what I can tell you is that I love you. You are more precious to me than anyone in this world. Okay. There is more of a reason that you shouldn't come near me. Ooh, maybe Uto is canon. That would make sense. Because, okay, I, I don't mean to relate this to Mystic Messenger, but if you remember, the canon one in there is Seven, and he's the one who's aware that it's a game. If you go to Doki Doki Literature Club, I'm pretty sure the canon is Monica, and she knows it's a game as well. I feel like maybe, yeah, you're right. Probably he's the one who's canon. Hey, Miranda. Welcome. You just got back from a two-hour session at the doctor's. Oh my gosh, I hope you're okay. I think he's canon. That would make a lot of sense. And then why he's affected by it so badly, and then all the other roots are coming into one, he's just turning psycho. Guess that would make a lot of sense. Mm. Well, let's, let's see what happens now. What? Your memories have returned? Memories with Ukyo? That's why you asked him those questions? <laughs> what are you talking about? There's no way you're gotten your memories back. There's no way that I wouldn't notice something like your memories returning. Wait, really? You really do remember? If that's the case, 
That's not a memory. Because it hasn't affected me at all. If it's a real memory, then I should be separated from you, right? But see, look, nothing has changed, has it? I still have. Uh, I'm still how I was just a little while ago. He did that. He did that last time. Last time we got a memory, and then Uki was like, "What's wrong with you?" Uh, and then Orion's just like, "I didn't see anything. What are you talking about?" I'm confused again. <laughs> But, if you still insist that you've seen something, then what did you see? Anyway, good morning, what a beautiful morning! And you have work today, despite the fact that you're in summer break. I feel like you're overexerting yourself. You have too many shifts, you're pretty much a full-time employee. I wonder if there was something you wanted to buy or something. Oh? Hey, look over there, the corner of the calendar. It says a small print, gold Kobe. Kobe is the place that you met Yukio for the first time, right? So were you trying to work a lot to save money to travel to Kobe again? Was it just to see the area, or do you think it was because you wanted to see Yukio? I wonder which one it is. This isn't enough information to figure it out. Is it like a like a Toma thing where we're just trying to follow him to go to the same school? I don't even know. Good morning! Good morning, Jessica. You're on time as usual. <laughs> Good morning! Hey, are you going to the fireworks show that's coming up? I was just talking about this with Mine. Last year it was postponed by a week due to the rain, but this year the weather's... How convenient! This guy shows up when we're talking about the fireworks show! He's probably gonna be like, don't go, you're gonna get shot by a firework or something. <laughs> I, I don't know, <laughs> that's the only thing I can think of. Oh? Oh, Ukyo. Crap, am I too early, aren't I? Seems like you're not open yet. I'll come back. Good morning, Ukyo. We'll be opening up in five minutes, so it's not to worry. Come on in. Oh, thank you. Oh, then I'll go change the sign to open. Yes, thank you. Thanks for letting me in early, but were you in the middle of a morning meeting? No, we were just chatting about the fireworks show. Ah, that's right. It's on the 13th. Friday the 13th, confirmed we're dead. <laughs> we're dead. <laughs> Oh, you're not going to take pictures, or you're not going to the watch with Jessica? Hmm? Oh, that won't happen. I'm sure she wouldn't want to go out with some stranger like me. <laughs> and besides, she and I are just customers and waitresses. That's how it'll always be. What? Yesterday he said stuff about how important you were to him, and now he says that? Does he like you, or does he not care? Which is it? Uh, oh. Oh no! Who's asking me out now? Oh, then if that's the case, I can invite her, right? Oh, okay. I thought it was Toma for a second. I was about to say, hell no! <laughs> I do not want to go out with him. Oh, Iggy, I thought you were going to be late today, but you're exactly 30 seconds early. I'm always careful about not being tardy. I heard some part timers were sent off to the front lines and haven't returned for two years. Front lines? Well, getting back to the subject, would you like to watch the fireworks with me? Come to think of it, Iki, you mentioned something about it the other day, didn't you? Yes, I was going to message her to invite her, but I thought it would be better to ask her in person. Although I've mistaken her when her shift was a bit- Oh, that's why he was there last time. I lost a bit of time, so what do you say, the 13th? Or have you been invited already by Shin or someone else? Oh, does Iki seem a little annoyed to you? Why don't you just go, Jessica? What? I won't be going, so you should have him to uh, have him to take you. Waka, do you think you could show me in? Oh, sure, right this way. I thought he was interested in you, but I guess not. Every time he came here, he'd always talk about you, so I thought he was trying to get your attention. Oh well, I'd be a waste to miss this opportunity worrying about others. On so, on the 13th, you'll be alright with going with me to the fireworks show then, right? I'll send you a message later with the details. See you! I didn't even say yes or no! Why are you all of a sudden like, being like, yeah, I'll pick you up later! He's pretty straightforward, we didn't even have a chance to say no! But don't you think it's a, a little, might be a little bit reckless to go with a person you don't know? And besides, what are Iggy's intention for inviting you? I thought he said something like you he, you weren't his type or whatever. So if he's inviting you a kind of person to see the fireworks, if it's not love, then friendship, then platonic friendship? Hmm? Hmm? What's up with me? Oh yeah, because she wanted to go out with uh, Iki. Whoops. Well, I didn't even say yes. He kind of just showed up. It's not fair, it's always you! I wanted to be able to go on a date with Iggy too! Bitch, I didn't even say no or yes! 
this? <laughs> Why is she blaming me? I hate you! Oh. Another problem. Icky, you idiot! <laughs> God damn it! Home sweet home! Man, I'm tired. Dealing with customers is more tiring than I thought. I'm as tired as I- uh, as that time I fused with the dog and ran around the snow for hours. Oh, did I not tell you before? I can fuse with other things besides humans, and that's my special ability. The other spirits can't do that. Don't you think it's cool? That's cool! When probably thanks to that, I fuse super easily with you, but... I've never had a situation where I couldn't separate from the host not even once. Oh, a message. Okay, it's Iggy about the fireworks show. Want to go wearing yukatas? You have the day off tomorrow, right? Rika says she wants to see you too. So maybe the three of us can go look at the yukatas tomorrow. I'm very surprised that Rika is not like freaking out about us going out with him. If we were with him for a long period of time, I feel like we may catch on about your amnesia. But if we don't talk to people, your memories won't come back. This could be a really good chance. And besides, if Rika is with you, it may be better than alone with him. It'll be good practice for the 13th. Alright, the three of us will go out tomorrow. So, now that's, that's settled, what I don't like is Yuki, Yuki's attitude. Is he interested in you or not? After talking to him yesterday, I could grasp that his warnings were all from good intentions, but then why does he act like that? If a girl like, uh, if a girl you like gets invited to on a date by another guy in front of you, wouldn't you really act on that? Like, oh, yeah, just take her. What's up with that? I mean, he said it himself before, but it does. It really seems like Ukiyo is trying his best to not get too close to you. Maybe Ukiyo is seeing you in a special way and avoiding you at all costs and hold the same meaning. No, I think he's just pretending like he doesn't want to fucking stab us. You think that so too, right? I'm sure you'd be worried not, uh, not knowing what his true intentions were, wouldn't you? I want to know if the feelings he has for you are in indeed true. I don't know, I'm so confused about him. Good day, I seem to have made you wait. Hello, Rika. There she is. I came on time, but seems like you were earlier. Excuse me, oh! I can't get used to her. So? So? I heard from Iki. I heard he invited you to the fireworks show. Crap! I wonder if she's mad! Do you think I'd be jealous? Did you think I'd be so mad that I'd go to... Shinboshin Temple and curse you? I would never! I mean, Iki invited me to the beach! Been between fireworks show and the beach, the beach is obviously a higher rank, so I'd be more happier to let you go watch the fireworks. Despite saying that she's more happy, her joking around is going to the temple to curse and sounds real. And besides, even if we did invite you to go to the beach, I don't think you'd be able to go in, it's too cold. It's, isn't it important for fans to share, although it's important to get a leg up as well? Hmm... Fans? I guess you, then you and Rika are in the same fan club or something. Wait, hold up. Fan clubs? Is it a fan club for Iki? What? There's an actual organized fan club for an o uh, ordinary students? What? What in the world is this? I mean, yeah, I guess he's dreamy, but... Ugh, god, why? You two seem close as usual. Oh, hello, Mr. Iggy. Are you doing well today? Yes, good morning. Sorry for the wait. I came early, but some of the members caught me. They tried to ask me where I was going today. It took a lot of work to lose them. Wow, there seriously is an Iki fan club, huh? I did not expect this. Then what? Uh, they did what to Mr. Iki? So sorry, Mr. Iki. I caused trouble uh, to you. Uh, to you from my failure of educating them properly. It's not a big deal, don't worry about it. Rather, are you guys okay? You two are the closest to me, so I hope they're not doing anything to either of you. My, you're worried about us? Thank you so much, Mr. Iki. However, there's no need to worry. I am the president of the fan club, and she's my friend. I won't let the little brats touch her, unless she wants to kill me herself! Brats? Wait, friends? I see, but if something happens to you, uh, be sure to tell me. I'll come up with a plan. I guess the best course of action today would be for me to keep my distance from both of you, but that would sort of suck. Two of your very pe few people that I can actually be normal friends with. I don't want to lose you guys over something like this. Mr. Iki, your concern is beyond anything I could ever imagine. I'm so glad to be alive. Should I die tomorrow, I would have no regrets in life. Okay. 
Well, anyway, let's get going. A shop I frequently started to sell yukatas. They're pretty cute and inexpensive. Yeah, okay. Jessica, a moment, please. Huh? What? I'm scared! I did say what I said to Mr. Iki earlier, but it's true that there have been some evil intentions within the fan club. Because Iki, Mr. Iki invited you to the fireworks show, he invited me to the beach, and he invited another girl to another place. He's trying his best not to play any sorts of favoritism, but there are plenty of girls that have recently joined the fan club who don't like that. Rather than being equal, they want to only have eyes for them. That's why they do things to other members. So really trivial things that stand out to making those brats jealous. You were invited by me and made a member without uh, really being interested in Iki, right? Despite seeing those eyes, you're still not infatuated with him. And because of that, Mr. Iki finds it too easy to talk to you. I'm sure, but that's, uh, that alone calls for action. I mean, even I, the president, had a major altercations with the new members. They said it would be unfair for me to continue. Of course I completely beat the crap out of them. Oh, okay, sure, honey. For some reason, they seem to be weak against me, and because of their timidness, I was easily able to win. <laughs> right, yeah, I bet. However, you don't talk much. I'm sure they didn't think you're mellow, so they'll probably underestimate you. And besides, they've always been people who can calm girls are annoying because they are putting up with up the front. Oh, were you the type of person to be hated by girls in your class? Anyway, you were in a position where you can easily have some people, so be very careful. I suggest it would be best to not to tell the others about the fireworks show, got it? I didn't even want to go! This guy didn't even give me a chance to say no, or yes or no, oh my god. Alright, bye Ninja, thank you for joining! Rika is like my friend around her crush, oh my god. Why are you standing there? Let's talk, let's talk later over drinks. Oh, excuse me, I'll be right there. Let's go, Jessica. We sure rocked a lot, and you even got, got to buy a yukata. I was so nervous, not about your amnesia, but the looks that you were getting for past by. Rika, Iki, and you, the three of you walking together side by side really drew a lot of attention. But thanks to Rika being here, everything ended up going smoothly. More than that, we were able to figure out the relationship between you, Iki, and thanks to Rika. But what do you think, you know, about the fan club uh, talk that Rika was sharing with us? She was telling us not to stand out too much. It's a little scary to know that other people had bad intentions towards you. Maybe it's best not to hang out with Iki. Ukyo said to go, but... Uh, I don't know. I feel like... I feel like, in a way, Ukiyo's like, oh, just go, it's fine, but he's gonna turn psycho and try to kill us. But at the same time... I don't- I, dude, I don't know what to say here. Or if I- if I talk it over with Ukiyo, would he turn crazy? I'm actually kind of curious which one I should go- <laughs> Should I save? I'm gonna save, hang on. I'll just do this. In case we do die. I wanna talk to Ukiyo, I wanna see what happens. I see, that may be best. Seems like Ukiyo knows something that we don't, so he may be able to give us advice about it. Since we still have his number from the other day, why don't we ask him? Five minutes later. Oh yeah, I remember them from Fruit Baskets. <laughs> Whoa, a reply already, what does it say? Ukiyo, I need advice. I think the result will still be the same whether you refuse Iki's invitation or not. He'll still be th uh, throwing fuel onto the fire, but nothing will happen tomorrow. Just go have fun. What's this? I think he's telling us to go, but that makes me feel even more worried. Well, I guess I'm. I guess right now there's no point in worrying. I guess it'll be fine. But I thought he'd say something more like in a convincing, convincing us not to go. He said that he loved you. Right. Rika said that the girls in the fan club don't get jealous because Iki treats all the girls, all the fan club members equally, right? I wonder how Ukiyo feels about that. Is there some sort of reasoning to make him feel fine about your hanging out with the other man? August 13th. Alright, so the day of the fireworks show. Let's hope nothing bad happens. Whoa! Hey, hey! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up and stop the alarm! Can't stop it! It's been ringing for ages! Hurry and wake up! Man, that was so loud. Thanks for turning it off. It's so nice to, to set your alarm before you sleep and all, but it sounds just so loud. If you're going to use an alarm, it might be better to use a cell phone alarm. 
now? What time is it? Huh? Three in the afternoon? That is bad. We overslept. Well, that kind of a good does it to set an alarm for three o'clock. Well, I was still asleep too, so I shouldn't be talking, huh? Good thing today's the fireworks show starts in the evening. I think it's almost time for Iki to contact you. I'm sure he'll start to he'll start after he gets dark outside. So we will probably start getting ready around four. But I'm a little curious about Ukiyo's message from yesterday. He did say he had to go have fun, so I guess he's right, but... I don't know. I will say I'm after Toma later, but I don't know if I should go. Is it bad? He said nothing bad will happen, so maybe not. But then again, he did say that you're, you're gonna throw uh, fuel onto the fire anyway, no matter what you do. Maybe we shouldn't go! <laughs> mm, Alright, yeah, let's do that. I think that may be for the best. Especially if you and that you can't go today. Any reason would be good enough, right? I feel a little bit bad for canceling on him, so last minute, but... Oh no, if I say that, the girls are gonna, like, actually like, kill us! Shit! Should I reload? They might kill us, I don't know. Fuck, no, 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 hang on, hang on, I, I think I have to go back, wait, no, because if I, if I do that, then Rika's gonna get pissed at us, and, um, Iki will get, get mad because we didn't go with him. Okay, wait, this time I'm gonna go, <laughs> shit, shit, okay. <laughs> Alright, then let's contact Iki, we decide to meet up on the location. Oh, look at time for response, is it Iki? I'm sure it's about today, I wonder what time we're meeting. I have to think of it. It wouldn't be too cold out there for Yukata in this kind of weather. It's pretty much autumn. Wonderful warm later on. Well, I'm sure it won't freeze to death or anything. Huh? What if Iki is hoping for a, a, a simulation to say, if you're cold, come closer? I guess that wouldn't happen. Seems like Iki isn't all of that into you. I'm oh, sorry. The message, huh? What does it say? Uh... Oh, Iki. Sorry. The other girls are kind of worked about my going with you today. I doubt we'll end up with them if I ignore them. Sorry, but can we cancel today's date? I know I'm the one who invited you. I'm really sorry. Oh, okay, it doesn't matter. He was going to cancel it anyway. Okay, good. What? Really? Oh. I don't want to say that's messed up, but I guess we can't help it. He's probably saying it for you. But to get it in the way of what he really wants to do, do you think that his friends are a little messed up? They're not thinking about what's best for Iki, they're pr just prioritizing what they want to do over his feelings. Oh well, what can you do? Why don't we just hang out for at home today? Alright, that kind of makes it a lot better than that we're not going to go out with him. Oh, did you hear that sound? I wonder if those fireworks have started. My hometown doesn't have any fireworks, so I've never seen too much of them, really. Oh, lucky, they're so beautiful. I wonder if we could see them better if we went outside. Hey, do you want to go outside for a little bit? We can go somewhere discreet, somewhere around the area. Just a little bit, or no. Is it gonna come out and, like, kill me, though? That's the thing. I'm so, like, paranoid of, like, Ukiyo turning into a psychopath and, like, actually killing us when we're alone. That's what I keep thinking is gonna happen. Fuck it, we're gonna go outside, fuck it, whatever. Really? Thank you, and then let's go downstairs. I'm doing it for my son. <laughs> oh, look that way, let's go, hurry, hurry. Oh my god, please don't kill me. Wow. It's so pretty and it's so loud. Oh, look, another one! I wonder how humans can make such beautiful things. Wow, this is so amazing! It disappears in an instant, but maybe because it disappears in a flash, it makes it that much more beautiful. Oh, he's so pure! He's so pure! Honestly, what a sweetheart. Fireworks are really like humans. If I were human, and I know that I'm a spirit that can't do anything, but if I could be a human, then I wonder if I could ever make something like that. Orion deserves the world. He does! He's so adorable! One hour later. We ended up watching all the fireworks, huh? You were watching with me because I got all excited, right? <laughs> Sorry for putting you through that, and thank you. Um, you've lost your memories and your personality that came along with it, but 
I think you were a really kind girl. Your co-workers, friends, they're all nice to you. That's probably because you were nice to everyone else. I hope I can hurry and change you back to your normal state soon. If that happens, then you and I will have to go our separate ways. But that way, it should be. That's the way it should be. I'll try my best so that you can have a happy ending, okay? Thank you! <laughs> Let's go back home. It's getting cold, so we should take a bath and warm up. He's so sweet. I love him. Oh god, what's happening? Huh? Oh! Hi, Ukyo. Ukyo, what are you doing here? Welcome home. Was it fun? I got a little worried and came over, but I'm glad to see you're doing fine. It's cold today, so you should hurry back inside. Later. Should I tell him I didn't go with Iki? Will that, like, change it? Uh, hey, I didn't go with Iki. Please don't kill me now. What? So does that mean you were alone tonight? Oh, I see. I mean, you got invited out. You should have gone. You're dumb. Bitch, what? I just... Okay, fine. I'm dumb then. What the... But I think I'm a little happy. Huh? I thought you were able to cut off all those feelings, but it seems like I'm, I was still jealous. I know Iki isn't a bad guy, but still, I don't want to give you up to him. I get really jealous and upset. Sorry for being like this. But that's the truth. I wanted to tell you while I could. Well, good night. Sure, bye. I wonder if Ukyo is waiting here for you to return. I wonder if he was worried about you. You know, Ukyo is always so wishy-washy, and it's hard to read him what he's thinking, but... But I'm sure he's really trying to look out for you. Yeah, okay. Alright, August 14th. He is confusing. He's confusing all of us. Uh, morning, another day of, at work today. I wonder if Ukyo will come over to me and do no Hitsutsu. Hitsutsuji. If he does come by, maybe we can talk to him some more? Although I'm a bit iffy at the idea of your memory recovery and Ukyo seems to have nothing to do with one another. Ukyo seems to have a deep rooted feeling for you, but even if it isn't a sufficient memory trigger, it's so cold. If we're so hung up on Ukyo, maybe it will be a while before you can return to normal? I wonder if everyone went to the fireworks show yesterday, I wonder. You know, I've come to like your co-workers a lot. It's so fun listening to everyone talk, and I can tell that everyone likes you. Let's go. Let's have another super day. Getting used to walking down this path. Well, I guess it's for you, it's a path that you're familiar with now. Seriously, when we were lucky that Sao and Mina came to pick you up on that first day? What? What? Huh? What? Your back is bright red! Is that blood? <laughs> Dude, we didn't even go out with Iggy! Are you kidding me right now? Oh my god, and then freaking Ukyo's gonna find out and he's gonna kill everybody, right? <laughs> Ew! Huh? It's bright red! How shameful! Who are they? They're pointing and laughing at you! What kind of things are you even doing, idiot? Idiot? The way they speak to you so unladylike. Hey, don't run away. Forget it. Are you alright? You're back. Oh, is this ink? It's just a broken water balloon and it's on the floor. What bitches, honestly? What the fuck, dude? Hey, Andre. So I guess they threw a water balloon at you with red ink inside? That's messed up. I wonder why they did such a thing. Do you know them? Do you remember if they upset them in any way? Well, I guess you wouldn't know, huh? You have amnesia. But seriously! Ugh, this is so frustrating! If I were human, I would totally run after them and take them down. <laughs> anyway, let's go. You need to change or you'll get catch a cold. Your back is wet. I think it'll be faster to go to the cafe than straight home. You have your uniform there, so you can change into that. Dude, seriously, I thought we were done with Iki's fan club. Oh, good morning! Sawa's off today, so the manager was just saying that Tom will be filling in for her instead. I have a feeling that Sawa isn't done with her report or something. Wait! What happened to your back? Oh yeah, surprising, huh? It's super bright red. Blood? Is that ink? But why would... Oh my gosh. Um, was it... Did the girls from Iki's fan club do this to you? What the heck? Oh, were they the ones that Rika was talking about before? 
Um, I'm sorry. You see, yesterday while the manager was out for a few of the fan club members came, and they were all gossiping like, I wonder if Vicky is going to the fireworks show today. They were all being so loud that I just blurted out that you were going with... Mine! Mine! Yeah, I'm gonna fix that after the stream ends, guys. Sorry. Uh, it's, it's Nightbot. I will fix it later. But... Mine, why did you tell them that I'm going- You already know I'm in danger, why are you telling me- Oh god! <laughs> what?! Is- Is that the reason why you- Mine, you- Well, I guess it's wrong. Mine isn't at fault here. I mean, who would just throw water balloons like that? I can't imagine a reason for that happening. I'm so- I'm so sorry, seriously! It's fine, just sh shut up next time! You're too nice. You didn't get mad at me at times like this. Because you're the way you are, despite you being my lo love rival, I can't ever hate you. I'm a fan of Vicky's too, so you can at least let me feel jealous towards you or something. I'm so sorry. Um, you'll have a little trouble on your way home with a change of clothes, huh? My place is nearby, so I can go back and bring you something. We'll have some time before the cafe opens. Oh, that would be nice. She's so Thank you! Finally, she's being useful for once. <laughs> hey, Rosie. <laughs> But man, after watching that exchange, I thought, although your memories hasn't fully recovered, I feel like your personality is slowly coming back. It's really great, and I guess the reason for that is... What? God, Toma, can you, like, go away? What the hell? What happened? Oh, it's Toma. What? Is that ink? What happened? Who did this to you? Oh, well, he's he is your co-worker. Maybe you can explain the situation to him? But wait, didn't Ukiya say not to get too involved with Shin or Toma? What should we say? Oh, yeah, that's right. We're not supposed to say because... I'll just say, hey, it was a prank. Don't worry about it, dude. But... Okay, I guess we'll leave it at that. But if something like that happens again, you need to tell me. You, can tr you can't trick me, so be prepared. Wow, sort of intimidating. You should hurry and change. You'll get cold like this. Right on, let's go, Jessica. Thank God, go away. I don't need your help. <laughs> Man, that was tiring. Let's take a break. It's already 4 p.m. I guess we're all done here? Jessica, Mine told me what happened. I heard someone did something horrible to you on your way here. Oh, Mine even told the manager. It's something that would make her look bad, but she didn't hide it. I understand your situation, so you need any help, please talk to me anytime. I'd be more than happy to help you out. Thanks, Waka Senpai! You're so nice. Let's obliterate all traces of your enemy from this town within 24 hours. I mean, I didn't mean it like that, but okay. <laughs> obliterate? I hope nothing else of this nature happens to you. The manager said something super kind just now, but at the same time I'm hesitant to feel happy about it. Why is he such an intense person? I wonder what kind of life he had. I wonder if he's some freelance mercenary or something. He's a secret agent. Hey, your phone is ringing. Disconnected? What? A blocked number? I wonder who it could be. Are you okay to talk right now? Are you okay? are you on your break? Oh, it's Ukio. Blocked number. I wonder if he's calling from a payphone again. I wanted to go to the cafe, but I felt sick today. Did anything odd happen? Uh, do you want to tell him that what happened in the morning? I don't think it has anything to do with Ukio, but it's not the case. Yeah, sure. Just got hit by the water balloon. I love the manager so much. Same. <laughs> I see. Iggy's fans, huh? Even if Rika doesn't spearhead the operation, I guess it still happens. Rika? I wonder what he's talking about. I think this is the most difficult fate. I mean, I haven't experienced this one, so I wouldn't know. I'll listen to me here for you. I think Iggy's fans are going to invite you out to the quadra sometime soon. You can't go there! Just make up any excuse and say you know. Or you'll die. They'll kill you. What? If my prediction is correct, I think it's at night in the forest. Well... Would you even be- believe me in something kind of like that? Did his voice just change? Sorry, I'm just kidding. What? It'll be alright if they invite you. You should go. I'm sure if you talk to them in person, things can be worked out. Yeah, his voice changed. He's psycho right now. I think it might be better to take some time to resolve these misunderstandings before they get out of hand. You'll be civil, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I don't have to worry about you losing your temper, so listen to me carefully. You better go, okay? 
if you go, um, no, that's not it. Anyway, it'll be fine. Trust me, later. He hung up. I wonder what that call was about. Mukia was awfully strange. So if we get invited to the cottage, should we go or should we not go? I wonder which one it is. Hey Jessica, I'm going to ask you again, okay? What do you think about Ukyo? He's weird, isn't he? He definitely isn't an ordinary guy. I think he's right. Uh, th I think the right thing to tell you is not to go near Ukyo. I mean, he tells you the same thing as well, but I don't know what he's thinking about, and he's a little scary at times too. I agree, he's fucking scary. The writing of this game, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also a little concerned about whether breaking all ties with Ukyo would be the right thing to do or not. I mean, at the second, at the end of the day, he seems to be looking out for your best interests. But I don't know what, what to you, what you felt towards him before you lost your memories. I wonder if you even shared your feelings with him. What do you think about Ukyo right now? I don't know. I want to know more. I think he's a bit scary. How about all of these things? He's a psycho murderer, but I'm pretty sure he'd be a normal guy if he wasn't all weird. But he also may be possessing a spirit, or he may be a god. So, you know. Um, Ukyo is possessed, the spirit wants MC to die, I just know it. That's possible, at least considering what's happening now. Orion is a boy! Ukyo, you're gonna die if you go out. Ukyo, just kidding, you should go. <laughs> hey, Terrell. Uh, Orion was a guy all this time? Yeah, he was. I don't know what I should say here. I'm gonna say I don't know because I literally do not know. I see, right. I'm thinking the same thing. Then maybe next time we should keep our distance and watch him closely? I mean, it would seem weird to all of a sudden to keep your distance from him. Oh crap, it's almost time for a break to end. Let's get back. Well, consider the Kaj thing if we get invited, okay? Good morning! Today is such a nice day. It's warmer than usual. Well, it is August. To say it's warm is kind of weird. Normally it'd be so hot. Forget that. We don't have to work today. What do you want to do? Want to go out? Like, I want to go out, but at the same time, I don't want to die. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's just stay home. <laughs> oh, really? So you're going to sit here at, at home? Well, I guess. I just feel like we shouldn't. One hour later. Oh, someone's here. I wonder who it is. Oh, it's Mine and Rika. Whoa! Why are they... Sorry for visiting without calling first. I wanted to talk to you in person right away, so I came over. Good morning! I heard from Mine yesterday, so someone from the fan club threw water balloon at you. Uh, that. I asked all the fan club members, however, none of them admitted to it. So I couldn't even find the culprit myself. I feel so bad for not having enough in influence. I tried asking them which members were at the cafe the other day, but none of them knew. I'm so sorry. I scolded everyone to make sure this would never happen again, but I don't know how effective it will be. If we can discover who the culprits are, I can even punish them to the point where they regret they were even born. Jesus Christ, Rika, wanna calm down there? <laughs> You're scary. Therefore, Jessica, if something happens again, please be sure to contact me. If I can determine which group uh, she belonged to, I will never allow any of them to be used such a shameful thing as throwing a water balloon at someone's back. So, um, I was going to tell Iki about what happened, but I stopped her. Nothing good will come of Mr. Iki knowing of this. If he found out, I don't think he would forget the fan club for who, uh, the fan club members who did it. And if Mr. Iki brings up the situation directly, then there is a chance that the bullying will get worse. Uh, it's day 15 in August. August 15. And if that happens, I'm sure Mr. Iki would be sad. He'd be upset that his fans weren't, uh, were that foolish. But that's not at all. There are a few good people who seriously care for Mr. Iki. And in the and if Mr. Iki cannot see that through all of this, the end will end up hating every member of the fan club. It would be a tragedy. Therefore, Jessica, I feel awful about what happened to you, but please do not tell Mr. Iki about this incident. Should I anything happen to you, I will rush over immediately. I vow to protect you. Okay! So please, I beg you. I'm doing every single ending of this route, so it doesn't matter which one I'm getting right now, I'm gonna do all of them. Whoa, that's surprising. It was such a strange partnering of, pe a partnering of people that wasn't sure what was happening. But it seems that both Rika and Mina are good girls. When I first met Rika, I didn't know how to react because she was so intense, but... 
This house belonged to my grandfather who adored me. When I was in elementary school, my grandfather passed away and left me this house. I loved it here. I made so many happy memories. But the city decided that this house would be torn down in order to widen the streets. I tried my hardest to fight it, but I couldn't do it since uh, I was only in elementary school. I was taken out of the country with my parents' transfer, and I left Japan without being able to see what happened to this home. It's been 15 years since then. I thought this house had been long been destroyed, but... But what? It's still there? Oh, it is! It's still here. Oh, that's right. The building itself was very unique. It was deemed an important cultural site, not to be torn down. I read it in a book. I wanted to see the house, so that's why I come back. And he is here. I feel like I was able to ruin it with my grandfather again. I'm so happy right now. So... You probably realized that I was crying from the beginning, but I thank you for pretending that you didn't notice. I mean, who likes being seen cry, you know? You must have felt bad for me, thank you. Man, who would have thought a girl would see me crying right after the return here? Didn't anticipate that. My name is Yukio. And you are? Me? I'm... So that's when we first met him. Okay, August 16th now. Good morning! Hey, what you just saw, or rather a dream you just had, is it a memory? It was a memory, wasn't it? Oh good, you finally got a memory! The steps, the step may be small in the relation to your memories overall, but it's still a big step for us! We know that the memories can return in fragments. So that must have been a memory between you and Ukyo, right? Just, just as Ukyo said, you and him and Kobe. I, I hope you can keep getting your back your memories like this! I hope so too! Here you go, oolong tea. Mean it. Take it to table eight. Huh? Oh, Jessica, did you have a late shift today? I wonder if it means Mina left already. I was so focused on the kitchen I didn't notice. Whatever. Can you take this oolong tea to table eight? Table eight. That means it's probably Ukyo. He's there a lot. Is he there? So you're from Kobe. Have you lived there this whole time? Actually, no. When I was in elementary school and moved out of the country, I recently returned. Oh, it's Ukiyo. I came back to Japan in the spring, but the house I was living in is gone now. I just went to visit Kobe in July. So you lived outside the country for a long time. Maybe that's why he, uh, his actions seem kind of unusual for here. Even if he wasn't from Japan, like he didn't live in Japan, I would still think that's weird. Like the way he acts, it doesn't matter. Well, beyond here too, huh? My apologies. It seems like your tea is here. Thank you. Could you put it here? Hmm? What is it? Do you speak another language? Are you accustomed to Japanese culture? Well, I mean, like, he, he was born here, but he did left when he was little. Hey, do you speak another language? I don't want to be awkward. <laughs> Oh well, there were a few places I went to. Six months in Thailand and a year in Singapore, three years in the US, two months in France, and two years and seven months in Italy. 30 days in Ch What the fuck? You've been every- Whoa, that's a lot of places! Five months in uh, Tunisia, a year and a half in Peru, and went back to Singapore for four days, nine months in Germany, two years in Alaska, one year in Canada. Boy, how do you keep track of all these places you've been? Alright, bye Andre, thank you for joining! I live in Guam for 8 months, a year and a half in China, 11 months in Cambodia, returned to Thailand for a, uh, a month, 2 weeks in Japan for a bit, and 60 days in Paris. A lot of things happened while I was in those places, so I can't speak any of the languages. Aha, uh -huh, thank you so much for hosting, I appreciate it! To be honest, I don't even know any of my Japanese is okay. Strange enough that he was brought for so long, he can't even speak any of those languages. Maybe he's pretending not to know? So when I heard that I just returned here, I bumped into her. Oh, that's right, Jessica, you went to a trip to Kobe, didn't you? So, did you guys reunite here? Is, did you contact each other or something? Not at all, it was purely co coincidence. I came here in July and ran into her in front of the university on July 4th. The 4th? Wait, I thought you met him on August 1st! Uh, uh, something is suspicious here again. The timelines are colliding! Oh, wait, no, we return in August. Sorry, my internal calendar has been off lately. Yeah, I got, I just got confused, sorry. It's not something to apologize for, I understand getting the dates mixed up. Yeah, sure. 
When I was in the battlefield, I never knew the day or day was or who. He was in. He was in the army. Everybody was right. Um, I think that's a bigger mystery here. So now your marriage is past. I don't want to know. Would you, uh, would you like to go to the beach? Actually, let's just go. What is this person talking about? And right before the morning meeting? Whether you were swimming or walking, wouldn't it be the beach be cold now regardless? But Rika is going with Iggy! So it's not so fair! That means no interest in me in the slightest. What? Are you jealous? Uh, so that's not it. Why would Iki be going to the beach would be a time travel traveler from the French Revolution strike any kind of jealous emotion in me? Well, fine. It doesn't have to be the beach. I just want to go hang out with the hot with the hotties. Hotties? Oh, I know. Why don't we have a company trip with the cafe? Oh, uh, no. No. No, 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 no. I'm gonna die. Don't. I don't think that would be a company trip. Nor would it be any cafe staff. Hey, wait! Manager, let's go to the beach! Oh god. Sure, why don't I gather the others as well? These types of events are important to maintain a sense of uh, camaraderie. Really? I figured he'd be like, this is a waste of time, we need to work. Yay! Are you serious? Shin, it's not like a big group. Do you not like group events? Well, I do actually like them, but I wouldn't. Wouldn't the beach be too cold? You have a point. Let's not go to the beach. It's cold and probably filled with jellyfish. Ow. It's true that there is an increase of jellyfish during this time of year. Especially there's another a lot of jellyfish cropping off in the earlier, but that's beside the point. Tomorrow will become the summer evening festival. Why don't we go close shop early and all go together? A summer evening festival? I want to go! I so want to go! I want to wear a yukata! Don't do it! It's seriously cold! Well, get to the details later. I shall contact the others to confirm. Alright, let's open up the cafe and have a great day, everyone! Wow, okay! So, I thought we were going to, um... The cabin, I guess not. The manager is chill. What did you expect? It's true, but he, he's kind of scary sometimes. That's the thing, he's very unpredictable. Summer festival, huh? So basically it's a festival with a bunch of shops and stalls, right? Summer evening. Actually, it's probably too cold for that, too. So cold, it's not even appropriate to call it summer at all. She was saying the same thing. I have to tell Mine to reconsider wearing her yukata or she'll definitely catch a cold. Oh, wait, I don't even have to do that. If it's after work, then she won't have time to change. Guess I'll just leave her be then. Alright. Here, here's the kale of green tea. Go take it. Kale green tea, huh? That sounds like a punishment drink. Who? I wonder who ordered it. <laughs> oh no. What did you say? A summer uh, evening festival? Oh, Luki ordered it. Your manager just told me. Is it true that you're going to a summer evening festival? Why is this guy acting so panicked? We're thinking going around the uh, staff members. We'll be able to close the cafe at 1600 hours tomorrow. Summer evening festival. This is really bad. Hey Jessica, the e this evening's festival is a good idea. The gaps bump at the kiosk could explode. The truck with all the drums could drive into the pavement. A billboard could fall down. The oil from the cooking spatula could splash in your face. The toothpick from the shape of the cutting uh, game might pierce your chest. You could uh, drown in the goldfish scooping game. What the fuck? A candy apple might get stuck in your throat, and you'll be buried under a pile of bananas, or you'll hit your head in the karaoke machine. And finally, you could fall in a trap hole and die. All of this could happen. What is this man talking about? The festival isn't that dangerous. Maybe you don't know that you've been away from Japan so long. But I also think the manager is being so nonchalant about the outburst is weird too. Oh, why don't you just come along with us, Ukyo? I'll go. I have to go. I can't leave her alone, even if it means I have to put my life on the line. So why does he need to be so dramatic the determination just to go to the festival? What makes a great video game is the story. But when there's a tragedy involved, it makes the player that much more invested in it. Whether it's to move the story forward or develop another character, video game deaths can be tragic. Here are six sad character deaths from video games. Roman, Grand Theft Auto 4, 